In this experiment, we are going to be finding the incident and the refracted ray from a glass block. Also, we are going to be calculating the refractive index of this block. So what you're going to do is you're going to trace around the block using a pen or you can use a pencil. So if you trace around it and then you draw a normal at the point of incidence, right? So I've drawn my normal at the point of incidence. So I'm going to label it N, N, like that. Then I'm going to use a protractor to measure angles, my angle of incidence. Remember, the angle of incidence is the angle between the normal and the incident ray. So there, uh, 20 degrees, mark there. Yeah. And then you draw your incident ray. So it's going into, don't forget to put the arrows. So this is the angle of incidence I. Now I'm going to put the whole thing on a piece of K-Lite so that I can put some pins. So I'll put the first two pins, pin one and pin two near the block. Then they must be vertical. So that's pin one. Then pin two, about five centimeters away, please, from pin one. So it's going to be somewhere there. So this is the bed, I bed's eye view. So you may see how vertical these pins are. So that's your k light in the paper with the two pins, pin one and pin two in position over there, pin one, pin two. I said the distance here has to be at least five centimeters. It comes in a paper six, alternative to practical. Now I'm going to replace the glass block on the and then I'm going to view from this end here the image that I'm going to see of these pins, pin 1 and pin 2. So I'm viewing from that angle. I must see them as one pin on somewhere here. And then I place pin 3 and pin 4. I've placed pin 3, pin 4. So the trick is to close one eye and then view it. So I must be able to see one thing from viewing from this end here. So these two pins, pin one and pin two must line up. And then I place this pin here in line with them and then close my one other eye and then place it in pin four, that's P3, that's P4, again in line with the rest. Somewhere along that line is my refracted ray. Okay, that's the imagined ray. But then inside there, that's where you get the refracted ray. So I'm going to join this line to the block. So I'll remove the block, join there, and then join the incident ray to the ray that I have here, the point that I have here. Inside there, that's where I've got my refracted ray. Then I'll measure my angle of refraction. Now I have the lines joined together. I can now see my imagined ray, my refracted ray, so the arrows in and then out again through the... I measured my angle of incidence. It was 20 degrees. And then I measured this one. I found 13 degrees. So that's my angle of refraction. Now, if these two lines are parallel from the block, then I should get the same angles here, 13 and 20 out there. So this is from the second law of uh, refraction. The refractive index is equal to sine i over sine r. So my this is sine 20 over sine 13. On my calculator, 1.5 to 2SF. So we've proved that the refractive index of a glass block is 1.5, and we found this the angles. Signing out.